Hi, I'm Kimberly Allison from Starliner Music. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to continue with my series entitled Blue Solos with Comping. In this series, we go back and forth from a lead guitar part to a rhythm guitar accompaniment pattern. First, I will play Blue Solo with Comping in the key of G number two, and then I'll break it down for you. Here we go. I hope you enjoy it. Let's break down blue solo with comping in the key of G number two. We have a 12 bar blues and I've broken that down into three four bar phrases. We are primarily going to use the G minor pentatonic at the third fret. Let's get a look at the fingering. <laughs> On to phrase one. Okay, right off the bat, we're going to be out of that pattern that I just showed you. We're going to be playing the minor pentatonic pattern that spans between the fifth and eighth frets. This is G minor pentatonic. <laughs> and our first lick comes out of that pattern. So we have two whole step bends, followed by a pull off and vibrato. And our comping looks like this. Here we have a G5 or a G power chord, followed by what looks like a C triad. And we're not really moving to a C chord here. We're just using this to embellish our G tonality. Then we're going to a G seventh chord that's abbreviated. We have a flatted seven, a major third, a perfect fifth, and we're going to hammer on or maybe do a trill here. One more time. Into our next lick. Whole bend, half bend, into the same comping. Let's hear the whole first phrase. All right, in the second phrase, we're back to the usual minor pentatonic fingering at the third fret. Here's the first lick. Bend, release, pull off. Vibrato here, followed by our comping pattern. Now we're going to move that up to the eighth fret, so it's exactly what we did for the G7th, except we're playing it now on C at the 8th fret. Then we're back down to the 3rd fret for our next G minor pentatonic lick. So we have whole step bend, another whole step bend. Notice I'm shifting down to use my ring finger here, it's just more comfortable. And then I'm to the G comping pattern we did before. Let's hear the full second phrase. Here's the first lick of the last phrase. So we'll be using 
using some major pentatonic in this first lick, let's look at the pattern at the third fret. <laughs> We'll be in this part of the pattern, and we'll be using a double stop hammer on, coming down then the minor pentatonic with the bend release pull off here, and vibrato on the last note. Then we're going to move on to comping up here at the eighth fret. This is for C. Let's hear that together. Then we're on to the last lick, which is a G minor pentatonic that spans between the sixth fret and the third fret. We're starting out here at the sixth fret, and then we have a pull off into a slide down the minor pentatonic, bend release pull off, and then we're going to, from there, approach into an abbreviated D7. So here we have a root, a major third, a flat at seven, and then we'll end up here at the 10th fret on a G9 chord. So we have root, major third, flat at seven, and this is the two, which is the same as the ninth. Let's hear the whole last phrase. Well, that's it for Blue Solo with Comping in the key of G number two. I'm Kimberly Allison from Starliner Music, and I hope to see you back on my channel soon.